A novel ultra-low field MRI device, ULF MRI, has recently been developed at Los Alamos National Laboratory to enable the first ever simultaneous imaging of the human brain's anatomy and functions. This process, known as magnetoencephalography, or MEG, is a powerful tool that shows problems in brain functions such as epilepsy. It also provides information to help us understand how the brain works. Now comes MagViz, an exciting new offshoot of ULF MRI that is about to become the newest advance in Homeland Security technologies. And so if we could tell the difference between white matter, gray matter, cerebral spinal fluid in the brain, why can't we tell the difference between sports drink and wine and stuff that you don't want people to carry onto airplanes? MagViz has the ability to identify different liquids using their unique magnetic fingerprint no matter how they're packaged. If you're familiar with the 311 rule, which is you have to take your liquids out, segregate them, can't have greater than three ounces in, in a bottle, and have to have them in a Ziploc baggie. And that, that restriction is one that I think um, Homeland Security would very much like to relax and essentially looks at the MR, magnetic resonance behavior, of passengers' um, items, along with producing a rather low quality image uh, to assist the operator, and generally can just distinguish whether or not the material uh, appears to be something benign or, or has properties that are close to something recognized as a threat. We knew what the threat substances were, and we looked at a couple of those and compared them to V8, Coke, sports drink, and sure enough, we could see a difference. It does this by measuring the magnetic signatures of hydrogen and other atoms in different molecules and chemical environments by using superconducting quantum interference devices, also known as squids. These squids detect the incredibly small magnetic fields produced by the atoms that then make it possible to distinguish liquids into safe, unknown, or dangerous categories. So at present, what MagViz does is produce um, an image of the, an MRI image of the bag or bowl of items that it's scanning, and then a false color map that associates the MRI properties that it measures with colors, uh, with benign materials looking, you know, more blue, and threat materials appearing red. The threat of someone carrying a liquid explosive or its separate components onto public transportation, especially airliners, has been a major concern of Homeland Security. By complementing x-ray machines used in passenger screening, MagVis could greatly improve the passenger screening process. The government really wants to find a tool that can enable them to detect threat substances and enable people to safely board aircraft, safely board trains, any kind of transportation, even portal entry into, into buildings that are potentially uh, high-value targets uh, to some terrorists. MagViz would improve the reliability of security screenings to make travel even safer than it is today. It would also make the screening process more passenger-friendly by allowing people to carry any quantity of liquid in any form onto public transportation. Certainly for this uh, airport application, I think it could be advantageous because operationally it's quite simple and it provides unique information about chemical environment that other methods uh, presently can't. But that's not the only use for the MagViz technology. Every day that we measure materials, we're learning something new and different because it not only applies to the threat substances that we want to differentiate, but also to medicine. From providing a better way to understand the brain and the treatment of, of disease and illness to providing you know, national security uh, and, and protecting the public from, from terror threats to the next generation of portable MRI technology, which I think could be used for a whole host of things. Not in my wildest dreams, and I'm, I'm involved in this work, not in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that we would be using it for detecting explosives or explosive components. So it is, it is important to remember that research for research's sake is an important component of what this country invests in because we can't predict in advance how it's going to impact other areas that are critically important not only to national security but to everybody's lives.